What's going on people? My name is Antoine, this is ATM Tech and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be running a quick emulator test using the Ether SX2 PS2 Android emulator and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. So although the Tab S7 Plus has been out for a little while now, it is still Samsung's most powerful Android tablet. So it's been out for about a year and a half now and it's still a very capable tablet, but I am interested to see in just how well it runs these PS2 games. So we're starting off with some Devil May Cry 2 and in my tests on other devices this game tends to run pretty well and from what I've seen so far on the Tab S7 Plus it's the same case. The Tab S7 Plus has a Snapdragon 865 processor which at the time was the flagship processor and it's having absolutely no problems running this game. I was even able to bump the resolution up to 4 times. Up next we have some Tekken 4 and with this game I did have to drop the resolution down to 3x which is still definitely a noticeable improvement over the native resolution. Now as you're getting into a fight there is a slight slowdown during the countdown but then once the fight starts the game runs at full speed with no issues. So moving on we have some Tony Hawk's Underground. This was another game that I had to run at 3 times resolution and generally across the board I found that 3 times resolution was the sweet spot with the Tab A7 Plus. But the tablet was able to run this game at full speed without any drop frames or any significant issues. NBA Street was a game that I knew it would have no issues running but to be honest I just wanted to play it for fun. This game came out around the time when and one street ball was the biggest craze and I have some serious nostalgia from it. Now NBA 2K was an interesting one. So besides the fact that I'm awful at this game, I did need to drop the resolution down to 2x just to make it playable. And even then there were some slowdowns and drop frames. I was able to run it at full speed, no drop frames at its native resolution, but to be honest, when you're playing games on a big screen like this, ideally you want to be able to bump up that resolution to give it a better look and a more modern feel. So the final game I'll be testing is Draken the Ancient Gates, and I'll be honest, I'm not familiar with this game at all, but it was a request from one of my previous videos, so I thought I'd just give it a try. So this one was interesting because it ran at full speed, but there's definitely some issues with the layers and the textures because you're seeing through things that you're not supposed to be running into obstacles xyz it just seems like different layers and different objects aren't interacting with each other as they should so right now i would say this game is unplayable but as i said this emulator is still in beta so it'd be interesting to see if over time the developers work on it and games like this can run properly so if you have a tab s7 plus and you want to play some ps2 games on it i would say go right ahead it seems like it's more than capable. And if you want to see how well these games run on the Samsung Z Fold 3, then check out the video that's popped up on your screen right now. But until then, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.